Field goal attempt. It's the Cody Jones at 27 yards. That's blocked. It can be picked up. Looking to return it. Williams all the way up across the 30. And Alcorn State feeling perhaps even a little better. They keep the Aggies off the board. Media timeout. Well, Alcorn State. Anthony Williams back to receive the punt. So three possessions, three three and outs. Two on the Alcorn State side, now one on the A&T side. Scooped up at the 16, Williams. Anthony Williams across midfield gets a block. Williams says, take that. That goes for 84 yards. Today may be all about special teams, Jay. Well, whatever you can do, we can try and do it one better. Great job by Williams. Turning on the speed, makes the move in the middle, sizes up. Hunter. Not really a great effort by the punter to make the tackle. You have to make him change directions. You cannot give up the sideline to a speedy guy like Anthony Williams. And all point with an opportunity to tie up this football game with the next point. First punt return touchdown of the year for Alcorn State. Williams previous. Season was really struggling to put points on the board. It seems like the time off has really paid off for North Carolina A&T. This offense is moving the ball. Effectively. Williams goes in motion. Carter taking a shot for the end zone for Keys. And broken up at the last moment by Gatewood, who got the right hand in there to get a piece of it. I, I wouldn't throw at Gatewood too often. He he's a ball hawk back there in the secondary. He was beat, but watch him get back in the play and time it up Ooh. and tip that ball just enough to distract Denzel Keys from making the touchdown grab. I don't know if he got it at all, but close enough that it distracted Keys, who you can tell by the way he ran their own 47. They rush four. Lots of time to throw. Carter puts it in the air. Deflected away at the last moment. Boy, it looked like Malik Wilson was in position to make the catch, but DeAndre Smith had time to reach around to break it up. It was a great job by DeAndre Smith of not panicking when the ball was in the air, staying close to the wide receiver. He knows, he sees the ball and says, I'm going to go up and hit the ball at its highest point for the pass breakup. And I'm going to go back to what I said on the last drive. Tariq Cohen's not on the football field. Wins over South Carolina State. Quality wins over Bethune Cookman. So they become number one. Alcorn is number two. And whoever wins this game will be the HBCU national champion. We are deciding it on the field. A third and long. Picked off. Anthony Williams, who has a punt return touchdown, could be the big play that Alcorn State has been waiting for. Return to the 10, tackled by Chris Garden. Late throw down the middle of the field, but great job by Anthony Williams of coming off of his receiver to help. Williams is playing the safety on the other half. He's just reading his eyes, comes off of his key, sees the quarterbacks going down the middle of the field, and great job of playing center field. Anthony Williams already has a special teams play for a score. Here, doing a good job of giving off one. Crazy error. Third and goal. Quick. There's that jump ball for Keys. He came down with it, but out of bounds. Oh. Oh. Uh, there there should have been a, a push off or some type of flag, but did he get this one foot in? This is a college football game. They're going at it. There, there's a hole clearly. 
Oh, he was out. The foot was out. The toes were in. The heel was out of bounds. Asking to play that much man-to-man -man coverage in this situation. Showing a blitz now backing off the edge. Whitman steps up, fires near side, a diving attempt. I'm going to say that's a catch. One official saying, yep. That's Brandon Vessel's first catch of the game. The only one that throws a catch. Quarter first coverage. Down. We'll have a good look here. That toe just got in. That's close. Here's Bowl. We haven't seen Louisiana Lafayette. They've been there, what, was it five straight years? Yeah. Start to become an annual tradition. Four, four straight years for them. For the Raging Cajuns. Warford from the four. He's dangerous on special teams. Broke a tackle on another. Up to midfield. It looks like Tard had him for sure. And he somehow got away all the way up to midfield. We've seen in this football game, very fiery guy, game-breaking ability. A transfer from Memphis, gets in the open space, takes a hard hit, does not go down. Another tackle with a stiff arm and a spin move, push the X button. That's how you start in the second half if you're Marquise Warford. Well, he saw him punch a dry erase board in the first half, cut himself up, he was a little frustrated. But I'm thinking right now, if I'm the offensive coordinator for Alcorn, get him the football. Jet sweep, screen pass. On for 58 yards, which is really the longest drive Alcorn State has had today. Here's the 11th play of it. Take the hand off to Ramsdale. Hit as he throws. Right by the pylon. Is he in? Touchdown. Talent George. Really on the field as a touchdown. start to emerge coming off the play action throws a perfect pass that's pretty good coverage by the Aggie defender oh, oh, I, don't oh know. I don't know that ball yeah. was six inches on North Carolina A&T where they had a touchdown called back when he secures it did he have